Anyway, this chick was worse than an active war zone. A military member who decides to jump on dating apps meets a literal nightmare. And he becomes red-pilled. And just like that, he says, you know what? I'm going to be a passport bro. I'm going to travel abroad and find a woman. I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I don't know, find some sweet little Asian honey on the other side of the globe because these women are crazy. So I, I downloaded this video. I had to shorten it. I had to shorten it because poor dude uh, was rambling. And this is commentary I have, and I don't mean to offend any of you that are in the millennial and Gen Z, but is it me or our young men, I'd say under the age of 30 or 35, is it me or do they sound and act kind of effeminate? Not all of them. Again, not all of them. But it seems to me a large number of men that I find that are doing things on social media, whether it be on TikTok, whether it be on Instagram, um, they seem to be very effeminate. And I'm not sure if that's just my perception or if they actually kind of are effeminate now. Um, it, it's, it's, it, it's, this guy seems to be like that to me. To me, he seems his mannerisms are almost feminism or not feminism like feminine his mannerisms are very feminine and i don't know what it is anyway i had to edit the living hell out of this because he rambled on for about 20 minutes this guy fell into the classic trap of thinking because she's attractive she's sane and he didn't realize any difference although personally i don't find her attractive anyway let me get him started on his story you'll see what i'm talking about <laughs> Yeah, I'm done. I'm done dating. <laughs> so last week I saw this girl on Mutual. That's the Mormon dating app. And I'm on there because like, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd like to be with somebody with similar values. And so anyways, I see this girl, very gorgeous. She's got like her business information and her phone numbers on her profile. And she does like teeth whitening and esthetician stuff. So I texted her and I was like, hey, I don't know if you knew, but apparently one and a quarter is going to be too fast. So I got to play this at one time speed. Otherwise, because he's mumbly, he's like, <laughs> he's very, like, I don't know, spastic. Your phone number's in one of your photos on your dating profile. And then what did I say? I said, maybe it's intentional. Um, I'm very interested in you. So I was thinking if you're game, I could pay you to whiten my teeth. And then if you were attracted to me and we hit it off, I could ask you out on a date. So I sent that on Wednesday. Now, now there's so much wrong with what he's, just the way he's dating. Just the way he's dating. He he goes on this girl's profile. Uh, he finds her photo or her phone number on one of the pictures. He then texts her or messages, messages her and say, don't know if you know this, but I'm just letting you know because I'm a nice guy that your phone number is on one of your photos. And then he offers to pay $200 to have his teeth whitened and then he says, if you find me attractive uh, after whitening my teeth, maybe we can go out on a date. He is giving her the mate selection option. He's, he's giving it to her. What he should have said is he should have texted her directly. Hey, saw your phone number on your photo on, on the app. You down to talk. He, you, you, you need to be more masculine, more aggressive. But he's like he's acting like a chick. And then to offer to pay $200 for a, a teeth whitening service to give her the opportunity to see if she finds this guy attractive. What if she says, no, you just paid $200 for a tooth whitening session you didn't even want. What in the hell are you doing? Uh, Thursday night, she texts me and she says, I'm getting evicted and I have $2,000 of rent to pay. And she put the the two, the dollar sign after. So I'm like, oh, I'm getting scammed. That's a fake profile. You know, that's a red flag. Um, okay. He just gets worse from here at this part. If a woman, if you're just say, Hey, how are you on a dating profile? And she says, good. I'm just struggling. I need $2,000. You say, well, good luck with that. And then cease all communication with said person. If they're sharing their financial woes with you, especially a woman run away. She's letting you know what she's interested in right off the top of the bat. But he keeps going. 
so I like looked her up a little bit and then I was like, oh no, it's like a legit business. This is her number. And so I just sent her a really nice text. Like, oh, you know, I'm not, things are tough for a lot of people right now. I hope things look up for you. Like if you end up getting evicted, let me know. I'll help you move your stuff out. Uh, if you get in, if you get it now, he's smart enough not to offer any money, but then he says, if you get evicted and you need help moving your stuff, let me know why, why would you help some strange woman move her stuff because she's hot? What, what are you doing? This is why, this is why so many men fail at dating. He thinks he's being nice. He thinks he's being funny. And all she hears on the other end of that phone as she's looking at his texts and looking at his, his replies, she's not hearing I'm, he's being funny. She hears it as a giant vacuum sucking hole of needy man. Just, I will do anything. Please pay attention to me. That's all she hears from this dude. And I don't blame her. Because so far he said, hey, your number's on here. Just want to let you know. Also, I'll pay $200 for your teeth whitening service. And you can see if I'm attractive. And if you find me attractive, we can go out giving her mate selection. And then third, he's like, I'll help you move if you get evicted. Why? She's a stranger. Like, but, but. This a lot of men fall into this trap. A lot of men fall into this trap. Now the good news is he's he's going to get a little bit more red pill by the end of it. But this is where a lot of men still are in the world today. I mean, for God's sake, I look at my watch. Last I it says twenty twenty four, almost twenty twenty five, and there are still guys like this out there that are cringe like this, thinking it's going to get them somewhere. I didn't hear back from her. And then today, like right as I was getting off drill, she's like, I charge $199 for teeth whitening. Would you like to do it today? And I was like, oh, I'm about to get off work. That could work for me. So, and then, so she sends me the address. So at 441, I said, sounds good. We just got released. So I can be there in like 25 or 30 minutes. And so um, she sends me like some directions of how to get there. So at 510, so 510, so 31 minutes, I was one minute late. I was like, just trying to find a spot. And I called her and she texted me back. She says, yeah, I have something else to do after this. There's plenty of street parking. I don't know what kind of games you're playing. So I parked my car. Okay, there's the next problem. There's the next problem right there. She says, you want to do the white teeth whitening? He still goes ahead. Without, There's been no conversation, no flirting, no getting to know each other, no seeing if you have similar interests, no chemistry. She's just worried about the teeth whitening because she wants your money, dude. She just said she needed two grand or she's going to get evicted. And then you just offered $200 for teeth whitening that probably costs her $10 because this isn't happening in the dental office. Office, It's happening like, I don't know, at a, I don't know where it's happening. And then he arrives there one minute late he said he could be there in 25 to 30 minutes he said he, he gets there in 31 minutes he says i'm just looking for a place to park and she starts with the i don't know what kind of game you're playing besides i have something else to do after this my dude if this is not a blow off line i don't know what to tell you it is she's telling you i'm gonna do the teeth whitening and then you gtfo i got other plans and she's already giving you crap but Captain Thirsty over here decides to go ahead and keep going for it. How many red flags has he missed? Five, six, seven? Where I'm not supposed to be parked in front of her thing. It says permit only. I walk in. I'm like, hey, I must be confused because I don't see any spots open on the street to park in. And she's like, I told you you could park over at the Megaplex with like all this attitude. And I was just like okay i'm gonna pass <laughs> and so i turn around and i start walking out the door and this must not have been her first rodeo because immediately she starts filming i'm not kidding she chases me out the door she runs over to my car starts she's like taking pictures of my plates i'm like in shock because i like i'm like what is going on right now so i'm like okay yeah you can call the cops here's my id like because she's like taking pictures of my license plate i'm like here i'll make it easier for you here's now by the way at the end of this i actually got the video that she took of him i got the i got the video she took of him and what he's saying is correct but what i can't get over and at least according to chat from what i'm seeing that is there anybody here that thinks he's actually straight or is he just not realizing he 
because I, I listen to him and I see his mannerisms of putting his hands like, oh my God, seriously, and putting his hands to his chest like this and a little bit of the lispy. And I, I don't know about you, but I, I this is not what I would expect a, a military member slash dude to be like. I just, this, I don't know, man. He just, mm. My ID, you can take a picture of that and you can tell the cops this is who I am and they can look me up. And I'm thinking in my head, I don't really want to get my teeth bitten in the first place. I'll just try to get my foot in the door for a nice date with a beautiful woman. <laughs> and so uh, she's like standing in the way of my door so I can't shut it without touching her. And I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna, not gonna fall for that. So I'm like, hey, can I close my door? And she's, anyways, so I'm closing my door and she's like, you ugly fuck. <laughs> Then she starts texting me. She says, I'll be letting them know your base, probably letting me know. I'll be letting you know you're basically blacklisted to all women in Utah now. <laughs> I texted back, I think I'll be okay with a smiley face. <laughs> and so, and then she texts me and she says, I should be charging you the full price, the full $199 for wasting my time, but you can go on ahead and pay the $100 cancellation fee so that this doesn't have to get escalated any further and we can just go about our day and leave each other alone. And I don't respond. Then she sends me a link to a TikTok video that she's like prepped. And she's like, you can pay the cancellation fee or this TikTok video can go viral after I share it to multiple Facebook groups and my Instagram with 140,000 followers. I don't know. Now, I want, I want you to hear this last portion of this because... This is the part where a lot of guys get to. So he goes on this thing. She films him. She's yelling at him about canceling the teeth whitening because, again, it was never about the date. It was about her getting money for the teeth whitening. And she gave him red flag after red flag after red flag after red flag. And he didn't take, he didn't listen to the red flags until now he's in her face and she sees his name, his military rank, because he's still in his military gear, like a dumbass. He shows her his ID. He tells her, go ahead and call the cops. She's already pre-uploaded this TikTok video. She's threatening him to go viral or to release to the public to go viral. By the way, it did go viral, but not for the reason she wanted it to. And he got himself all in this hot water. And, and you guys know, if any of you have been in the military, if she decides to make a big enough stink with your first sergeant or your commander, and she decides to lie about you and say that you were rude or that you were harassing her or anything else she makes up, the military is automatically going to assume you're the bad one. At least that's how it was in the past. And, it, and usually the military would err on the side of the civilian, not the military member. I know that sounds crazy and maybe things have changed. But when I was in, if a civilian said you did something wrong and went through the process of calling your commander or your chief first sergeant or whoever, they really believe that person was actually having a gripe against you and you did something really bad. Not realizing that weird chicks out there like this one will do this. And now he's got all this crap out there and a video of him and everything else. And all he had to do was walk away right from the beginning when she mentioned $2,000 in debt. But he couldn't do it because he was thirsty and apparently she has a nice body and she's good looking. Again, that's questionable. But he keeps saying, I thought it was beautiful. So many red flags he missed. And now he's in hot water. And this happens to more guys than I think realize. They don't pay attention. They don't catch the small warning signs. And before you know it, you've gone on a date with her or you've uh, insulted her or she's had a couple too many drinks and you guys hooked up and she's batshit crazy, but you didn't pay attention in the beginning. And now instead of dealing with a, a little tiny problem, you've got like Mount Vesuvius that you need to deal with because you didn't nip it off in the bud. What kind of mental health medication she's on, but it ain't working for her. She needs to find something else. And then she says, I don't understand why you offered to pay for teeth whitening just to waste my time. I know I should have charged you the full appointment up front like I do with all my other clients before allowing you to come. If you're a man at all, you would pay the cancellation fee for wasting my time. I did absolutely nothing wrong and I did nothing for you to treat me that way. And I don't deserve my time and energy to be wasted that you did that. Do you see now how she's twisted everything? Do you, do you see how she's twisted everything to now she is claiming to be 100% the one harmed in this entire interaction? 
She's 100% the one harmed. How dare you? You wasted my time. I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you did that. And, and what did he do? He showed up one minute late and said, sorry, was struggling to find a place to park. And now all of this, all of this mountain of crap is because of that. And the, the craziest part is he keeps going on. Why didn't you block her? Why didn't you, like, whatever. This is what happens when you think with your little head and not your big head. And this dude got into it up to his eyebrows because he didn't listen to the warning signs. And then she's, and then she texts me a couple minutes later and she says, sounds like you have a business to frostbite food, so I'm going to make sure that business does not go well. <laughs> now she's threatening his side business. So not only is she threatening to, to contact his military I don't know, platoon or his military group. Now she's threatening his side business. Over what? He was a minute or two late. My dudes, you got to pay attention to a little crazy. And yes, he is desperate. There's no doubts about it. He's way desperate to be doing this. But he didn't listen to the little crazy warning. And now he's got huge warning. <laughs> well, she doesn't understand is that I have nothing to lose <laughs> and I probably need that hundred dollars worse than she does right now. <laughs> so, and she's like, I'm going to blacklist you on all the dating groups. I'm like, girl, I'm done dating. So go right ahead. I'm, I'm out. I'm going to be good. Be a passport, bro. I'm going to go find me a nice young Brazilian lady to marry, or you guys can arrange me a marriage, but I am so done. Like, Oh my goodness. So, yeah, that's how my afternoon went, but I'm going to be all over the internet in my uniform. I'm sure my, oh, they're going to yeah. love that. And I, I should have just hurried and changed before I left. But I was always like, oh, I don't think I'm going to keep my uniform more. He says, I should have just changed before I left. You shouldn't have left, dummy. Um, I think it's one of his female friends. I think he went home to talk to his friends. But this is what confused me, right? Because this is what confused me. He's sitting here talking about passport bros he's aware of passport bros and passport bros are dudes that are going to other countries to f sorry i'm banging on my my table sorry I get, I get frustrated and start banging and i don't hear it but you guys can probably hear the vibrating on the mic he knows about passport bros he knows why passport bros exist because of horrible women in our native countries in the west if he's aware of that how is he not aware of the red pill content of why men started doing this. So how is he completely oblivious to all of the other things that we talk about, about what, looking for warning signs and red flags and, and all the other things to look out for? He's oblivious to that. He still hasn't learned a lesson to that. But now he's talking about, now he's talking about uh, uh, being a passport bro. It doesn't make any sense. It's almost like he either... Like he, he only took specific lessons out of it. And I think, I, I don't think I've seen anybody uh, disagree with me that this is an exceptionally feminine man. I, I do not know any guys that used to talk and act like this when I was in the military. It was a don't ask, don't tell situation, if you know what I'm saying. I'm just a little shocked he's this upset about a girl. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so yeah, anyways. So, and this is the video that she uploaded. And you can see here he is in his, and she says, this LDS Christian man booked with me on a Sunday for an appointment just to waste my time. She doesn't happen to mention that he was only a minute late. And, and this dude did all this just to try to get a date with a chick. Because he thought it'd be a good way to get in with her. And now this dummy shows her ID, says go ahead and call the cops, instead of just calling her batshit crazy, getting in his car and driving away. Yeah, and you agreed to the 199 teeth lightning. You took an hour to show up to your appointment, and I'm telling you it's $100 for a cancellation. You come in, and then you say you're canceling. So I'm saying it's $100 for the cancellation fee for wasting my time. Sounds good. CRC. And this is also going on Instagram where I have 100,000 followers as well. And in the uh, Mormon dating groups of people to avoid as well. Yeah. So I hope this was really worth it to you. You really wasted my time and my energy today. I hope you have a better day. Oh, 
Well, um, I was having a great day until you showed up and decided to waste my time. Do you mind if I close my door? I don't mind, ugly f There's your reward, buddy. There's your reward for going through all of that. Oh, congratulations. This is what happens to nice guys. And if it had been... Now, let's kind of flip this. Had he just been a jerk and been like, hey, your your phone number was in with your uh, dating profile. Like, when do you say we hook up? What do you got going on this Sunday? Make some plans. If she is wishy-washy, you're done. You just blow her off. Uh, she didn't answer. She's wasted. Whatever. But because he tried to be nice and book an appointment, maybe give her a little money, give her the opportunity to get to know him, and then he was nice and offered to help her move if she gets evicted, that pissed her off. That made her mad. Then from that moment on, she was only looking at him as possible money. And this is what he gets for it. That's what he gets for it. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. I found her profile, of course. Um, now, this is from NRM84. Just someone that posted this. This is where I found the initial story. And everybody through this entire thread is roasting the literal bejesus out of her. She's getting absolutely blasted. But not just, not just on Twitter. What's interesting is she's getting roasted on her own TikTok. This is her TikTok where she posted this threatening him. And she said, uh, these are the comments from, from both women and men. I saw his point of view before yours. Uh, a Liz say, let's go, Chief, get my frostbite foods now. 4,000 likes. Someone else said, he's so calm, 1,300 likes. Lady, I genuinely uh, hope you do find some self-reflection and realize how go uh, just god-awful you are as a person. All she did is get absolutely destroyed in her own post wiping him out and you want to know who she is but I, I guess she does these weird white teeth whitening things and and she's like a a uh, like a concierge at a concert or whatever or a, I mean a club and this is, skin is this is let me turn that off and this is her you know in a bikini and a and like every other girl she's got to put herself out there and she thinks she's just God's gift to everything I mean she's okay but you know it's not but you're going to tell me that she, remember, she was on a Mormon dating site, an LDS dating site. And you're going to tell me that, okay, all about her. And the other thing that I thought was ironic is she's also a healthy lifestyle coach. She doesn't seem to be leading a healthy lifestyle. And she does model bookings and a model portfolio. And she does teeth whitening. And apparently she does meal prep and training. Now, looking at her account, if you go back a little ways, um, like she's kind of a healthy girl, but she's also had a heck of a lot of work done. A lot of work done. If this guy had done just a little bit, I'll tell you right now, guys, if you ever see a dating profile and she looks like this, and she looks like this, just understand you're going to be dealing with a narcissistic headache who's used to getting all this attention on social media, all the validation in the world. Nothing you do is going to be good enough. Trust me on that. But he knew he could have avoided all these problems, and he didn't. The thirst is real. The thirst is real. Well, he says he's, he's going to become a passport, bro. Do you think he learned any lessons? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so, son. He's going to go right back at it. He's going to try with another hot chick. All right, let's do a dating profile today. Uh, this is Valerie. She's 36, everybody. She's got the big, uh, I don't know, what do you call those, like 19, I guess 1970s butterfly glasses on. Uh, she's average looking, I'd say. Nothing too painful. She says, I'm looking for a good man who wants to rescue me and my kids from this low income life I've been stuck in for years. I have no interest in things of the past, and my kids deserve to have a positive male role model in their life with me. Had to be sensitive to people, have to be sensitive to people with disabilities. 
So what do we learn just from this? Valerie's 36. She has multiple children and she's poor. She's poor and she needs a white knight to rescue her and her kids from this low income life she's been stuck in. Why is she stuck in a low income life? A, she's lazy. Or B, she has so many kids she can't work and she slept with and got impregnated by a bunch of hot Chad loser men that have no money and can't pay child support. And so she's stuck on the state dime. C, she has no interest in things of the past. Well, that's your past is how you got where you are today. Now, you may want to get let go of your past, but any guy that's dating you had definitely better understand your past. Otherwise, you're going to end up like Utah man with the, with the crazy LDS chick. And he has to be a positive male role model. Why aren't the dads positive male role models? Because they're not in the life anymore. They're gone. They came, they saw, they conquered, and they left. What do we say? We, they did the hardware store. They did the hardware store. He drilled, he nutted, and then he bolted. Uh, and you have to be sensitive to people with disabilities. What is it, her disability? A, B, or C? A, mentally disabled. B, part of the LGHD TV community and is a weirdo leftist. C, physically, gigantically overweight and needs a mobility scooter wherever she goes. A, B, or C? Or all three? All three. <sighs> That's there you go, guys. But but get out there today. Get out there today and get yourself a narcissistic chick. Do you know what's funny? In some of her videos, like this one, she's actually very athletic. Like she's very healthy. Now this is going back uh, 2023 of uh, February. So this is a year and a half ago. She looks a lot more natural in 2023. She looks a lot better, I think. Uh oh, she says if I want to date a girl, it then it's cool. My sexuality is fluid, fluid, and if I want to date a guy, it's okay if I break up with them and to date a pretty girl. Of course. Of course. Her gate swings both ways. Sh shocking. Now that I, I think of it, let me check and see what upcoming events we have. Today's the 18th. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, on Monday, September 23rd, so this upcoming Monday, at 7.30 p.m., I'll be, I'll be doing a live stream of the Bills versus the Jaguar. This upcoming Friday, we've got, or Saturday, I mean, we've got Saturday night at the movies. And then Sunday, September 29th, we're going to be doing the Bills versus the Rams NFL stream. And then October 5th, we'll be doing UFC 307. So if you'd like to get in on any of those and all of those uh, live streams, uh, make sure to join us today at betterbachelor.locals.com. $5 uh, donation a month. Or you can do four dollars a month if you if you jump in for a year as a year supporter. You get to catch all my live streams, everything that I put out ad free, ad free, and you get to participate in all the live streams. You don't have to follow along. It's not like you gotta rent it and I rent it and we watch it synced up to the same time. I play the events. I play the events because it is a closed community. I can do that because they're awesome. All right, guys, I will leave it there. Thank you for joining me very, very much. Don't forget. Support me on betterbachelor.locals.com and we will see you in the next one.